What a lineup it is. Allison Felix goes in lane five. It's hard enough to attempt history, but when you have to go through these sorts of trials, as well as an ankle injury, it has become that much tougher for Allison Felix. And in lane eight, Gabrielle Thomas. She just completed her freshman year at Harvard. She was third at the NCAAs last month. In her own words, she says, on one hand, this is the scariest thing she could ever imagine, racing these big time athletes. On the other hand, she's not nervous because she's made it this far, and that's already great enough. Hopefully her running will show the latter. And out of Dory Bowie goes to seven. Well, nobody in this field can match her 100 meter speed. She ran 10.78 a week ago to make the 100 team. I expect her to pull away from this field and maybe even early. From this outside lane, guys, she might be able to improve her personal best 21.99 set on this track in May. Can Jenna Prandini spoil the party at six? The former Oregon Duck is definitely a rising star. She's made the transition to the professional scene really nicely. So first year pro, she's already headed to Rio as a part of the relay pool in the 100 meters. I think she makes this team tonight, Otto. And Felix in lane five. Well, she told our Lewis Johnson yesterday, because of that injury to her right ankle, she hasn't been able to do speed work this year. And at this caliber of final, at this shorter distance, that is going to make her vulnerable much more than she was, guys, in the 400. It's a much tougher field. She has to be in the top three here just to have a chance at this year in Rio. Oregon State to speed with the four. Looked really good in her semi-final heat yesterday. She ran away with it. She was second at the NCAAs. Looks good, she has a great lane draw. She's right behind Allison. If she can jump on her early, anything can happen. And another duck, Ariana Washington at three. One of the best California high school sprinters ever while at National Powerhouse Long Beach Poly High School. The last time she was in a big 200 meter final on this track, guys, she won the NCAA title in a new personal best 22-21. If she runs like that today, she has a good chance to make her first Olympic team. But how much does she have left after a long college season? In lane two, Tiffany Townsend. And the former Baylor Bear, she's always in the mix. She was eighth in the finals, in the 100 meter finals here, and once again, she's in the 200 meters. Strong, strong runner. I think she'll have a great run out of lane two. And Jenna Batamo in lane one. Well, when she declined to run off against Allison Felix four years ago to break the third place 100 meter tie at the trial, she gave up the chance to run an individual Olympic event. She got Olympic gold running with the USA four by one, but she'll have, have to overcome lane one to qualify in what has always been her better event, the 200. Well, the rain has started coming down again here at Haywood Field. It is indeed a cool afternoon. Coats and the umbrellas at times, very much the order of the day. Tori Bowie in lane seven, very impressive and uh, comfortably defeated Alison Felix in the semi yesterday. And that's why I think Alison has to run one of the best final hundreds, guys, of her life if she is behind with 100 meters to go because there's such good finishers in this field. You talked about Prandini, Sonia who will likely be ahead of her on the turn. Remember, not able to do the speed work this year. Let's see how her first 50 looks. Felix in five, Prandini six, Bowie in seven. Good start there from Tori Bowie, set to left. She's already moved past her, Thomas. Felix going well though, she's closing on Prandini. But Bowie in the lead, a meter, a meter and a half as they come into this race. Phoenix with a lot of work to do. The 400 meter runner strips Phoenix to tell. What a run in lane four from Davis Stevens. Come on, Alice, come on, Alice, come on, Alice! No! <laughs> That's a photo. But boy, what a run from Stevens. And for Felix, it was maybe one of too many. The toughest team to make for a reason. American sprinters are always strong, and Allison Felix will not get a chance to attempt to be only the third woman ever to win gold in the two and the four at the same event. She is fourth as we wait for the official confirmation. Jenna Brandini, the Oregon Duck, to the roar of the crowd, gets the third spot. Allison Felix, she fought valiantly, Sonia, but it was just too much. Tough, tough loss for Allison. She started grimacing with. I want to say more than 100 meters to go, and you never see Allison Felix grimace. Tough, tough one for Allison. She won't be able to do that double that I know she was wanting to do so badly. And this went almost according to how we had said it would. Tori Bowie on the outside. We knew she'd run fast from that outside lane. Deja Stevens stepped up big time to get second. And Prandini, always a good finisher, was able to hold off Allison Felix, who was coming 
but just ran out of room. Look at how close that was. A hundredth of a second. A hundredth of a second separates Allison Felix from history and being fourth. There's Tori Bowie on the outside in lane seven. She separated early with Grandini giving chase. Look at Deja Stevens making up the stagger a little bit on Allison Felix in the green. So now they come off the turn. Tori Bowie has the finish line in her sight. And Allison Felix, Sonia, is trying to close the gap on Jenna Grandini. When I saw Deja get out really well, but didn't all the way close on Allison, I thought that Allison was moving well. You see her grimacing here, wanting to get to the finish line, wanting to live this dream. You rarely see Allison like this, but Deja almost in disbelief. Oh, look at Deja's face. She can't believe what she has just accomplished. She's headed to Rio. So the lack of speed work, guys, probably put pain to Allison's attempt at the double in Rio. In a way, I don't know, maybe is that uh, a benefit for Allison if now she can just focus on the one event. Well, I don't know if you'll get her to agree with it, but as somebody who's always wanted to see Allison